there is a video I want you to take a quick look at and then you'll tell me what you think about it because Europeans are reacting a certain type of way to this video yet just a couple of years ago 50 60 70 years it's the same thing that they did in Africa and we didn't complain if anything we welcome them with open arms Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of our conversations. My name is Ndero Ganga. I am a business journalist and a digital content creator and I speak on matters Africa, black people empowerment and how we can rise up and take our rightful place at the global stage. So most recently, the video that you just watched hit Twitter timelines and different people were going wild over this video. I want to keep it brief because I don't even think we should be arguing and fighting over this video. So the video shows um, African immigrants off of a boat getting into, you know, stepping on the land of Europe and just, you know, it's a beach and they're going their way out fresh off the boat, right? And the caption of that video was, imagine how this European tourist were feeling seeing these African immigrants invading their beach and their country. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to take it back for you like 70, 80, 100 years ago when also your ancestors did the same thing in Africa? How do you think my grandfather and my great grandfather felt when your people also fresh off the boat um, got to their land and they were not even as decent as the Africans. They were just walking about and going about their business and trying to figure out what they're going to do with their lives. These people came with guns, you know, and they stole land and they put our people into um, concentration camps and, and forced them to work and introduce a cake systems on the continent. How do you think we felt that? How? Right? So now that the tables are turned, it's making you uncomfortable. What is so uncomfortable about seeing Africans getting off the boat? You people have done it before or it's just okay when white people are the ones that can jump on a boat, go and invade somebody's home, take their land, take their property, force them into labor, kidnap their people and go sell them as slaves. And these guys can just continue living life as if it's normal. Yet when Africans do the same, it's not a right thing. You know, Western double standards always shock me. These people are acting as if the people that got off the boat are going to hurt them. If, if you read through the history of, of, of immigration and how people risk their lives to cross oceans, most of these people are seeking political asylum, or most of these people are young people that are just trying to, you know, make something off of their life. I'm not saying they're not bad people, but nobody will risk their life to on a boat to come and start robbing people and killing people. Most of these guys, they just leave to come and look for manual labor most of the time. They work as cab drivers, they work as dishwashers, they work as security guards, they work in care homes, jobs that you definitely need people to be able to do that as they go back to school and build up their life. And that is the truth of many immigrants. There are certain immigrants that are not straightforward people. But the truth is people often leave their homes in search of better future. But the way that this video is being portrayed, look at these people invading our home, invading our land. First of all, they don't even have anything because you can't even take anything on that board. It cannot even carry weight. You will sink. So the only thing that this person technically has might be their passport, some few dollars on them, and the clothes that they have on. Yet you're painting them online as if they are a threat and they are a danger. And that just speaks to how, you know, Western people perceive refugees, perceive immigrants, because there's no compassion that is being extended to these people. Now, I will also introduce another thing, that this is happening because these are people of color. Ukraine, when it was invaded by Russia, and a lot of things were happening there, um, there were bombing, people were dying, homes were being burnt, you know, it's currently not safe to be in certain parts of Ukraine. 
Europe opened its arms. Europe opens its arms and said, welcome. We are more than grateful to take you. They opened safe passages for these people to be able to, to, to leave their country and get into these European countries, you know. Um, they were very welcoming. The way the media covered them, you know. Africans are always immigrants. They're immigrants, you know. Um, and then the people from um, Ukraine, because they, they come from a different part of the world other than the Africans that got off the board and some people from the Middle East because also them, they don't matter that much. Um, we're seeing coverage is very different. You know, people from Ukraine, they're middle income people, they're middle class people, they have blue eyes. They're not, they're not your usual refugees. These are just people whose homes and whose lives have been disrupted. But we don't extend the same courtesy to these people that came off of the port. Um, and got into a beach in, in Europe because we are like, um, yeah, there's no way. There's no way your home has been disrupted. There's no way the civil war in your home. There's no way you're just trying to keep yourself or your children safe. There's no way you're trying to make a better life for yourself. Perception really, really matters, you know. And also, I think it's the way some of these governments have spoken to their people about immigrants, about refugees, about Africans, the perception. It's almost as if they de detest immigrants, you know. There was a time um, I was having a conversation with somebody from Romania and he was like, he doesn't want refugees in his country because he doesn't want to pay for them, right? And he was saying refugees don't work and they get social support from the government and that's his hard earned money. And I'm like, okay, but what makes you think that refugees don't want to work, right? Some of the most successful black people or immigrants are, are not even from that country. They left their countries to come to your country. They've worked so hard. Anybody that knows where immigrants are, majority of them, and I'm not saying all of them, majority of them work very hard. They work several jobs to be able to survive, to have decent housing, to take their children to school, you know, to be able to send some money home. So this perception that immigrants just want freebies and they're invading your home and nothing good will come out of it. And these people were almost shocked. They were shocked. Yet immigration is, is, is a problem right now. It's a global problem. It's a challenge. People are leaving their homes. People are trying to look for safe passages. People are trying to build better lives for themselves. Global instability is nothing new. Economic turmoil is nothing new. In, in Britain, people were saying it's either you keep your lights on or you freeze during the winter. Poverty levels are, are like rising they're rising in the West and in Africa. So why is it so shocking when you see people leave their home to try and go look for a better life elsewhere? There's war in Europe, Russia invaded Ukraine. So it's war is no longer a, a, an exemption of just African countries. You know about political instability. It's happening in your backyard. So what's so shocking about people running away from war? What is so shocking about this? I, I need Western people to wake up wake up we live in a real world the bubble that you're living in thinking you're insulated and you're special busted a long time ago this is the real world welcome i'll see you again next time guys remember to like this video share with a friend subscribe and comment down below what your thoughts are